Hello everybody and welcome back. This happens to be your first time on my channel with my videos. Hi everybody, welcome and thanks for stopping in. My name's Dave and today we are going to be going over a series that I've entitled eBay Was It Worth It? And you already know that because you read the title of the video I presume. Uh, this particular series is where I share with all of you my eBay purchases. I take the package, I open it up, I show you what I got, I share with you how much I spent, and then we try and do a little bit of an assessment to figure out, was it actually worth what I paid for it? Sometimes that's true and sometimes it's not. It comes down to the fact that I do most of my eBay shopping early in the morning, late at night, sometimes flat out in the middle of the night because I'm a little bit of a light sleeper and if I wake up, I might not be able to go back to sleep. So some of these I am not in the best mindset for. I try and scavenge around and find auctions ending soon or buy it now is newly listed, which means I don't have a lot of time to react. And sometimes that means I get a great deal and sometimes I overpay for something that you could readily get off the shelf. And that's the exciting stuff that we're going to be getting into today. So I'm going to go ahead and open these four packages, share with you what I got, and try and uh, answer that question, was it worth it? So starting off with our first package today, we have uh, this box, which honestly uh, looks like it's seen a little bit better days. I think it got a little bit of wet because it's actually winter outside. So it might have sat in the snow, which kind of tore the bottom apart a little bit. Other than that, it is a boxed item, not a poly bag, not a manila envelope. If you want to see some real crazy packaging jobs, go back to some of the previous videos and you will see that. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here. So my first impression of the packaging job, actually not too bad. I can see that they use some stuff to void fill. We've got a little piece of foam here to act as a cushion. And here is the prize. We can see that I have purchased some Ninjago Spinjitsu Burst. 70687 Lloyds and if I recall correctly I think there's six we've got one we've got two three four all look in really good condition by the way five and six all in fantastic condition so uh, everything here looks pretty good you can tell uh, one does have a sticker on the back it says 999 which is their MSRP pricing However, I didn't pay MSRP pricing. Uh, they do all appear to have stickers on them. Well, not all of them. That's okay. I can remove the stickers without a problem. Some people actually don't even mind the stickers on them. But for the next question, what in the world did I pay for these? And survey says I paid $37.95 for this. Item price was only $25, which means I spent $12.95 on shipping which honestly probably wasn't too far off. I would have liked to have think that based on the size of these, you might have been able to get them into a medium flat rate USPS priority mailer. And that could have saved on shipping a little bit. They probably could have got it down to about $7.95. However, they did use their own box uh, and that's okay too. But uh, probably a little bit high on shipping still, even with a custom box, uh, custom sizing, non-flat rate. But $37.95, that means I spent roughly about 620 I think is what it works out to be 620 630 uh, per item which isn't too bad overall with it being ten dollar MSRP that means I got it for around what's that 37 percent off which I'm actually pretty okay with I don't remember if I have Lloyd's I do have some of these spinjitsu burst sets already uh, they're actually down here you can see them there. But I want to say that the ones that I found were coal uh, readily available. I didn't have any of the Lloyd's ones as far as I am aware, which means uh, these are fantastic. These things I think are now retired. What are these? These are a 2020 set. These ones might even be two different kind of spinjitsu versions ago. Pretty confident they are retired. Getting them that much under and in quantity, in good condition, uh, I'm pretty excited about. Now, before I jump to the conclusion and say, well, of course they're worth it. I got them less than MSRP and they're a retired set in Ninjago, which honestly is probably most of what I need to really say what my plan is. Let's take a quick peek and look at BrickLink to see what in the world is the average sale price for these sets over the last six months to at least see what someone should expect for these. And it looks like over the last six months, these Lloyd Spinners 
Not a ton of them sold, 29 in total. Average price though, $8.02, which means there's about a dollar seventy of profit per item, uh, which I think calculates out to roughly around 30%, maybe 25, somewhere in that ballpark. Not a bad ROI for right now, but more importantly, my plan for these is going to be to wait until I can sell them for around $15 to $20 each, which historically a lot of the spinner type Ninjago sets do get up in that range. Some of them have even gotten up in the $30 range. So I think that the ROI potential is there. And the fact that there's already a 25 to 30% ROI based on current average sale price on BrickLink, uh, I'm going to call that a win. So uh, was this worth it? Yes, I think that lot number one, item number one this week was worth it. Let me get these things set aside and bring over the next package. Package number two, we have, it's actually a little bit heavy. I can tell it's Lego inside because of the weight. Uh, you can see that it's a reused Amazon box. This one is currently weighing in at about three pounds, nine ounces, which is a little confusing because I don't remember what I actually purchased that would be that heavy. And so we're going to open this up. This does come to me from South Carolina. So I'm sure if I looked in things, uh, that would have been pretty obvious. Okay, not what I was expecting to be in this box. The weight does make a little bit more sense, but let's see what we have together. Uh, first item, a little bit of a squish box. And I feel like I do remember this from the listing. We have Dusty for sure. Set number 60176, the Wild River Escape. Uh, definitely new sealed. And even though the box is a little squishy, I would say that this isn't that bad at all. Next up, we have the 60157 Jungle Starter Set. Again, some slight creasing on the box, so not mint condition, but overall, it's actually in pretty good shape. Next up, we got 40253. Unfortunately, it looks like this one is cut open, uh, which is kind of sad. It looks like everything is probably here. Again, I need to look up an unboxing video or something on this to for sure verify the contents. So this one, I don't know. A lot of people, unfortunately, still call this new. I don't. I call it new open box, which is different than new sealed. And so without some kind of a disclaimer in the listing, uh, you wouldn't find me listing something like that. Let's keep moving, though. Here we've got extra dusty. Which makes sense. This is an older set. 60190 Arctic Ice Glider. This is from 2018. That's actually not as old as I thought. Anyways, uh, I think I actually might have sold one of these sets recently uh, for a decent chunk of change, which is weird. It's a small set. But anyways, new sealed, uh, actually in really good condition. Small crease on the box. Here we have the Lego Friends 30411. I think this is the Valentine Chocolate Heart Box, I think is what they call it. Uh, but a poly bag nonetheless. Uh, here we have a 40416. This is the Ice Skate Arena. I've got a ton of these. This does have some heavier shelf wear than what I'm used to. But uh, it's actually a really fun set. I think my wife built this one up over Christmas this year, if I recall correctly. Uh, anyway, nice little gift with purchase set there. Running out of room. And lastly, for this particular lot, we've got 40417, the Year of the Ox. I have a ton of these. Uh, these two, I believe, basically came as promotional items together. I want to say I might have even stacked it and gotten a Charles Dickens promo with them. But uh, regardless, um, these things aren't worth all that much. But before we really assess the value, let's take a look and see what I paid for this lot of Lego sets. So for this particular item, we paid a total of $61 for the lot, not the item. I guess what I forgot to check, although it says sealed sets, uh, seven sealed sets. I wish they would have put that the one was cut, but in all fairness, it's just one of them and it is sealed bags. Some people uh, get away with that disclaimer, I would say. Uh, $61, 55 plus $6 shipping. I think from a shipping standpoint, it was a phenomenal uh, deal because I'm confident this costs more than that for a three pound package. Wouldn't be surprised if they spent about 15 to $20 shipping this. Uh, but before we can really answer the question, was it worth it? I need to look up to see what the current value is for these. Using BrickLink's last six month sales is how I'm gonna assess it at first. 
And if that price isn't great, I will end up looking up these on Amazon to see if I can get a better return from there to figure out, did I end up making money on this purchase or am I digging myself a hole? Okay, so using BrickLink, I was able to look up the values for these and we're just gonna walk through them one at the time. Average last six month sales, which means theoretically that price should be continuing to grow over time because none of these are having more sets come into the supply. Uh, but anyway, we have the uh, Year of the Ox, $9. We have the Friends Poly Bag, $3. We have the Arctic Glider, $9. We have the 24-in-1 Christmas set for $11. We have the Wild River Escape for $15. Jungle Starter set for $12. And the Ice Skating Rink for $21. Now, these are the average prices over the last six months. Total ends up being $80, which means that's really about a 33% return thereabouts, uh, which is pretty not bad for something right now do have to consider that I would lose a little bit of that because of fees. However, because I'm looking at BrickLink prices, the last six month sales, it doesn't factor in shipping. So that's not eating into those profit margins at all. I'm going to do a quick sanity check and let you know if there's any big swing related to Amazon. The tricky part is that some of these gift with purchases sometimes actually won't show up. So let me see what we got. So we did have a few things that actually had some price differences here. And I'm going to walk through just the ones that had the price difference. Uh, this I did not look up because it's open box. I know that I cannot sell this on Amazon at all. Uh, the first one, the Friends Poly Bag, after fees and everything, which does add another factor to it. It has taken fees out of it. Uh, I would get $5 for this. So that's an increase of another two that would take me to 82 uh, on the glider after fees, I could have another five here. That would take me to a total of 85, uh, I suppose would maybe be the way to look at that. Uh, this one here, another $5. Uh, so not bad. This one, a little bit questionable. There might be some risk because it does have a little bit of a crease in the box and a dent down here. Uh, but that would take me to like $90 thereabouts. Uh, this one actually had a pretty good increase. This one went from 12 up to 24. This would be a $12 increase sending into Amazon. And it does have a little bit of crease back here. Not horrible though. The biggest concern is that they're gonna put this in a poly bag and mail it to a customer, most likely. So there is some additional risk with that. Uh, but that would take me up to, what would that be? Around $100. And then when I factor in the last one, which went from 21 to 33, another $12, it takes me $112. If I sold most of them, honestly, via Amazon uh, and just kept the two listings via eBay, this one had a wash. Uh, this one was a complete wash in terms of profit, although it would have taken the fees out of it. And again, this one with it being open, this has to be an eBay or possibly BrickLink item. But that means that my $61 purchase has the potential to net me around $112 or on BrickLink, I definitely think I can safely get $80. And some of these sets are fairly newly retired. So again, this one just came out of production. The Year of the Ox is still pretty new, and so that's why the price is low. Same thing with the Little Friends Poly Bag. Overall, 60 to 80, not bad. 60 to 112, that one's a win. And so even if I picked and choose a couple items here, like these two, to get me an additional 24, that takes me to like 100, and then the other one's sending through BrickLink. So was this haul worth it? Yes, I'm going to say it is definitely worth it. Almost the potential to double my money. That's pretty huge for something that I just bought today and could possibly sell today, or at least I can sell today for that additional value. Uh, again, you can't necessarily sell everything on the drop of a hat or a turn of a dime. I don't know, whatever the expression is. You understand this one's worth it. Let's go ahead and get into the next package. Package number three which is honestly the largest of the boxes I have, comes in about the same weight as the last box that we just opened at three and almost a half pounds, three pounds, five ounces. Uh, this one comes to me from Maryland. Kind of nice uh, little place out east, I suppose. Let's see what we have inside of this box. So first impression is that they use some void fill. That's a good bonus. It was shipped in a box. The box is a little bit crushed. I don't know whether that was because of the condition before or during shipment. And here's our first look at what's in the box. 
I definitely see some damaged sets in here. That may have been the case early on, though. So let's take a look. Okay, first set that we're going to look at here is 41442 Vet Clinic Rescue Buggy. New inbox. Actually, uh, good condition. Little creases on the side, but that's pretty standard, normal. Next up, we have 11001 uh, Junkie Lego Classic Set. Do not invest in these. They can be some decent part out values, and that might be what we have to do. It does have a tear on the bottom of the box. However, I feel like that was in the picture. Uh, it also has a ding down here, so uh, not a whole lot of value in that thing. Next up, we have uh, 60286 Re Beach Rescue ATV. Uh, this one, actually, I could see having a little bit of value. It's 2021. Normally, these are about a $10 set. However, it is fairly crushed on the top. Uh, the back, new and sealed in box though. Next up, we have Lego set number 75317, The Mandalorian and the Child. Definitely some shelf wear, I suppose. Uh, and there is one crease on the back, so not mint condition box, but honestly, I've seen brickhead boxes much worse than this. So uh, pretty decent there. Next up, we have. Set number 60283, Holiday Camper Van. I think this thing's still available. Yeah, 2021 set. This one might just be coming off the shelves. It does have a dent in the bottom of the box or kind of a bulge, whatever you want to call that. Uh, so again, uh, retail-ish set available right now. Next up, we have set number 41687, Magical Funfair Stalls. I think this is a newer friend set as well, although I think this may already be retired. Uh, there's a couple more kind of in this line. I don't think I have any of this one, though. Uh, again, Magical Fun Fair Stalls. It is a new sealed in box set. And overall, pretty good condition. A little bit of a bulge on the set, but not too bad. Uh, okay, I'm going to save that one to last because that one's kind of fun. Uh, here we have uh, set number 41383, Olivia's Hamster Playground. Now, I have quite a few of these, and they are also squishy boxes. Uh, no difference here. That one is a retired set. I haven't seen that on the shelves in a while. It is from 2019, and that would probably explain why. And here we have a second one of the Olivia Hamster Wheel. And so then, moving in lastly, which is the one I was most excited about out of this entire lot, and honestly is the best condition of the boxes, we have set number 600234, People Pack Fun Fair. This is a fun fair, a people pack that I missed out on. And I really enjoyed the people packs because I was going to use them to flesh out my city when I built it. Now, at this point, uh, my dreams of my city have kind of changed a little bit and they're going to be modular designs. But I'm going off on a tangent. You're here to see these eBay hauls. Um, so anyways, these things tend to have quite a bit of value because they come with a ton of minifigures. You know, I don't remember how many are in here, but I want to say it's somewhere in the magnitude of around 15. All right, so I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit more than what I remember or thought I had paid for it. So for this, I paid a total of $100 for these nine sets, which is a little steep considering a couple of the smaller ones, but I'm hoping the value is there in these larger three. Uh, it was $90 with $10 shipping. The $10 shipping was definitely a good deal on these. Some of these are retired sets or really close to retirement. And so before we can really make the assessment, was it worth it? I need to look these up. So let me go ahead and do that and get back with you. Okay, so pricing on these items via BrickLink, last six month sales, one exception in there, and I'll get to that, uh, $11. So not too bad. We had two of those. Uh, we had this one here that only showed up as around $8, which I think has to do with the fact that this is still available on shelves. Uh, in a similar mode, we've got $10 for this. Same thing there. We got the identical thing going on here at $8. And then we move on to the Mandalorian one. This one was actually $18. It almost surprised me a little bit because I think you can still find this for around $16 in some stores. Uh, next up, we had this for $20 on BrickLink. Again, I think it's still readily available. Same thing. This is the one that the last six-month sale only had one of at $22. Current average pricing is around $29. I think this is a $30 in-store set. Maybe still available. I think it's just retiring, though. Maybe. Uh, and then lastly, this one had about $34 on Amazon. Some of, or I'm sorry, not on Amazon, on BrickLink. Some of the differences with the Amazon pricing, instead of $34, I could get $37 for this one. 
might not actually be bad. Uh, these were a big one that instead of $11 on BrickLink, I can net 22 after fees on Amazon. That's pretty good. Uh, everything else, honestly, was less on Amazon because you can still buy a lot of them. However, that said, just taking BrickLink, not even Amazon, the total average price over the last six months for these items is $149, which is almost a 50% ROI right out of the gate. Now, we do have some squishier boxes, and so maybe I even got to reduce that by another 10%. So instead of $150, if I sold all these for $135, that's still a 35% ROI. Not too shabby considering that a couple of the items I certainly need to wait on for the value to increase anyway. So overall for this lot, eBay, was it worth it? Yes. I'm going to say that this is definitely worth it, especially if I can end up waiting a little bit of time on a few of these items for retirement and inflation to happen. Uh, and then a couple of them I decide, uh, like for instance, these guys, uh, even though this has a little bit of a squishy box, I still might say this would be worth selling on Amazon because it's a real low cost risk. All right, everybody. So I know we only made it through three packages today, but the video is at a pretty good length, I think. And I've only got one package left that I know is going to take a lot of time to go through, which means I think we're going to cap this video at three items this week and next week. I think we might only cover one because it is a ton of stuff to go through, at least I think. We'll see. Stay tuned for next week to see what it is that I purchased. And let me know in the comment section below what you thought of my purchases today. Would you have made the same choices or would you have passed on any of the pickups that I did? Uh, thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye everybody.